Hello, everyone. My name is Masuda Sultan. I'm an Afghan American, and I am so honored to speak here today. Um, I want to acknowledge the um, Afghan Ambassador, Ambassador Jawad, and the First Secretary, Hekmat Karzai. Um, I was asked to talk about my experience with Marla, my work. All of us are here today, and the room is full, remembering Marla. But there are thousands upon thousands of people in Afghanistan who can't be here, who were touched by Marla's work, perhaps more than many of us have been touched by her. I went to Afghanistan in December of 2001 to film a documentary about what was happening in the South. While I was filming that documentary, I found out that 19 of my relatives had been killed in the U.S. bombing campaign men, women, and children whose village had been mistakenly targeted. They told me the story as the cameras rolled. I couldn't believe it. I went to the base, the American base, the Kandahar airport, tried to find answers, find out what was happening. I went to the village. I came back home with this huge sense of responsibility on my shoulders, and I had no idea what to do. I knew that Americans needed to know what was happening in Afghanistan. I didn't know how to do it, where to start, who to talk to. And then I found out that Marla Rizika was in Afghanistan. Finding out who these people were, she was planning for a delegation of 9-11 family members to go to Afghanistan to meet civilian victims. She wanted the message that Americans wanted to portray to Afghanistan. The message was, we value Afghan lives. They're important to us. And yes, in war, mistakes do happen. But when they do, we want to help you. And I think 9-11 family members understand that most. And they said, we, we know what that tragedy is like. And everyone rallied around us here in the United States. They were sent flowers and teddy bears and offered all kinds of assistance, and they said people in Afghanistan didn't get anything. I worked with Marla to try to get attention for the issue of civilian casualties. Um, and I'd like to think that I, I, did, I did an okay job. But to be quite honest with you, very little happened until Marla came to the United States on this end and really started meeting with people like Senator Leahy and others. I recently saw Marla um, when she came and spoke at the Kennedy School of Government at Harvard, where I'm a student. And of course, I, I had emailed with her and been working with her, but I had never met her face to face. This was November, this past November. And um, she sat there and she said, oh my god, you're here. I can't believe it, you know, in her, in her typical <laughs> style. And, uh, and she said, oh, you know, I have to go. I, she was speaking and she said, I have to leave, but I really want to get together with you. And we have to party. <laughs> and I, I have to tell you this story. Rita Lazar, a woman who lost her brother at World Trade Center on 9-11, um, she said the first time she met Marla in Afghanistan, Marla was wearing a hot pink feather boa. <laughs> and she said, I thought, who is this girl? Um, and today when I was figuring out what to wear, I don't have a hot pink feather boa. So I, I put on my Afghan shawl, um, and I, I think of her a lot. Um, and I know that there is really little I can do or say to her family besides that all of us will remember her, but there are people in Afghanistan, thousands upon thousands of people, that will remember her with deep love and gratitude because she came to help them when absolutely nobody was there listening. And I hope that we continue Marla's work. I think that's what she would want. And I hope that we remember civilian victims in Afghanistan as we remember civilian victims in Iraq. Thank you.